penting lebih stand out dibanding organ bin lebih stand out dibanding organisasi Indonesia sekolah-sekolah lain karena kalau kalian pergi kalau kalian pilih untuk uh, bersekolah di Beijing dan kalian bakal ikut acara-acara ter kalian lihat anak bin itu benar-benar stand out sama yang lain karena kita sangat kompak menurut saya dan kalau kalian pun akhirnya ingin uh, kalian ingin masuk ke dalam BIT, kalian akan di greet dengan kita semua yang ada di sini. Ini bukan semua ya, ini baru yang di bawah sini itu cuma angkatan baru yang baru datang kebanyakan. Ini yang tahun lalu dan ini waktu itu pas ada meet and greet gitu. Kita walaupun uh, walaupun dengan negara-negara lain berbeda itu kita walaupun memang ada banyak uh, pools gitu kita bertemannya pasti ada kelompok-kelompok kan, tapi kalau ada masalah ataupun acara kita semua akan pada akhirnya bersatu dan benar-benar stand out menurut aku. Jadi ya begitu. Udah terima kasih itu uh, sekian dari saya dan terima kasih. Thank you Kak Albert buat sharingnya. <laughs> Semoga tahun ini banyak ya dari Indonesia yang ke BIT. <laughs> Oke, okay. uh, Miss Claire. Oke, okay. ya yeah, thank you very much. And thank you for um, your life at BIT um, from a student's perspective. I think that's very useful and very important for our prospective students. Um, and um, thank you, Clara, and thank you, Miljack. Am I pronouncing it correctly? Is it Miljack? Um, actually, yes? it's Miljack. Okay. okay. <laughs> yeah. So thank you very much. Milgek. Okay, Milgek. Okay, thank you very much, Milgek, for um, putting everything together and give us this opportunity to introduce our university to the students. Um, and I am going to share my screen so we can start this um, mission. All right. Okay, so I do. Uh, okay. So I am going to talk about um, some um, general basic background information about BIT. So give you um, an idea, general information. I'm going to share about the job opportunities for our international students. And then actually I'm going to skip the step of how to apply, but I'm going to give you some backgrounds um, or requirements of what we um, are looking for when you are applying to BIT. Um, if you have any questions about how to apply, um, you can um, simply just reach out to Milgek and definitely help you with the application. So first of all, um, so first of all, BIT um, was established in the year 1940. Okay, so, um, and then it moved to Beijing um, in the year 1949. And then um, we got our Chinese name changed from Institute to Technology in the year 1988. And um, so if you have heard of the education system in China, um, probably you have heard of um, 211 project and 985 project and also the double first club pro project. So these are some very important projects in China. That means um, the country um, has given very um, uh, given the importance to the university. So that means our research, our academic um, is very like it's superior in China. Um, so we were actually the first 15 universities admitted to the 211 project and also the first 10 universities uh, um, that entered the 985 project. Yes. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry, but the PPT doesn't move. It's still in the first page. Oh, it doesn't move? Yeah. Okay, let me see. <clears throat>
Uh, Miss Claire? Nitaima? Oh. Oke, okay, sorry. Sepertinya ada gangguan koneksi. Kita tunggu sebentar ya, teman-teman ya. Um, can we read now? Hello. Yeah, hello. Oh, it's okay now. Okay. Okay, thank you very much. Sorry, I think it was my um internet connection. Sorry about that. Um, so I'm going to share the screen right now. Um, okay. I'm trying to, um, sorry, I'm trying to get you see the next slides. Okay, it should be working right now. Okay, are you able to see um, the slide with BIT history? Yeah, yeah, it's okay. Now. Okay, perfect, sorry about that. Okay, um, so yes, so BIT um, is um, the first batch of the 211 project, 985 project and double first club project. Okay, and um, so let's take a look at how competitive BIT is um, in the world. Um, so specifically, let's take a look at the ranking. So in the year 2023, um, the ARWU ranking, BIT ranked among 101 to 150. And the US News um, report of best global universities ranking, we ranked at 298. And the QS World University rankings of 2024, we ranked 340 globally and also 17th place within China. And if, if you take a look at the science and engineering field, we actually rank among top 10 inside China. So we are a university that is very good at science and technology and engineering. Okay, and if you take a look at the right side of the screen, you can see that um, from the year 2018 to the year 2023, our ranking in the world has um, incre constantly increasing um, throughout the past five or six years. So BIT is um, improving um, year by year. And we are also um, very proud of our research funding. So our research funding per capita in China ranked um, the first place um, throughout the whole country from the year, starting from the year 2016. And um, it's, we actually is still top one in China right now. So, you know, as, um, as a university of science and technology, uh, the research is very important aspect. Um, so, um, ranking in the first place in China in terms of research funding gives us a very good opportunity to develop our research and our um, academic strength. So we also have won more than 130 national awards in science and technology in the past 30 years. Um, that pl placed us among top 10 in China as well. And we are also very proud of our um, graduate and student employability. Um, for example, um, we ranked ninth place in the QS ranking in graduates employability in 2022. Um, and also um, the seventh place in the QS world ranking in employer student connections of 2022. So let's take a look at our top programs. Um, so here are some programs that rank um, top one in China. They are Armament, Science and Technology, but this one is um, a program for graduate students. So if you come to study um, for your bachelor's degree, um, this uh, major is not available. Um, but we also have in Intelligent Manufacturing Engineering and Mechatronics Engineering. And um, Mechatronics Engineering actually is also available in English taught program. So if you want to study mechatronics engineering, the English taught program can be a very good option for you. 
and some university, um, some programs that rank top three are control science and technology and, and engineering, automation, mechanics, product design, optical engineering, and mechanical engineering. Um, and some of them rank the top five in China. They are safety science and engineering, information and communication engineering, and aeronautics and astronautics science and technology. And the computer science and technology, instrument science and technology, and data science and big data technology rank among top 10 in China. And also, um, even if we are called Beijing Institute of Technology, that doesn't mean that we are only good at science and technology majors. We actually have um, some very good um, social science majors, um, foreign languages majors, um, design majors, and especially our um, department of economics and management. It's very, it's a very competitive program inside China. Um, so our um, school of management and economics is accredited by three major accreditation institutions. Um, and only 1% of the universities in the world um, were accredited by these three accreditation institutions at the same time. So that means um, we are one of the top 10 in China and also one of the top 1% in the world. Um, so if you want to choose um, the English taught program, we actually have a major called International Economics and Trade. So that one is under the School of Management and Economics. Um, so I would really recommend that major to you if you're um, interested in business or management. And here are some other top ranked programs. They are chemical engineering and techniques, electronic science and technology, artificial intelligence, material science and engineering, business administration, and international economics and trade. Um, yeah, but just please note that not all of the programs are available in English child program, and we will um, let you know what are your options if you want to choose English as your teaching language later. And also, um, so last year we had a um, an accreditation of a higher education quality for international students studying in China, and BIT ranked number one in China, and we are the only one that got A plus um, in China, the only university. So um, if you come to BIT, you do not need to worry about the education quality. Um, so um, at BIT, um, it is very um, we, we really put the education quality at a high priority. Um, so you do not need to worry about like um, um, taking class or the education or a student life here. So everything is guaranteed. The quality is guaranteed. And we have, um, actually we have a few campuses um, inside China, um, but um, our main campus is in Beijing. And in Beijing, we have three campuses. Um, one of them is in Zhongguancun. So the one at Zhongguancun is near the city center of Beijing. So it's located um, in the downtown area. And um, we also have a campus in Liangxiang. So the campus in Liangxiang, I think Albert also talked about that. So most of our um, undergraduate students are studying and living in Liangxiang campus. And Liangxiang campus is personally, I think is um, prettier than the campus in Zhongguancun. And it's much bigger than camp Zhongguancun campus. It's, I think it's like three times or four times large of Zhongguancun campus. Um, and we also have a campus in Xishan, but normally our students don't go to Xishan campus. So Xishan campus is normally for some large scale experiments and research. So like, um, I think when you are choosing university, um, you can um, you can really consider the, lo the location when you are making the decision of where you wanna go because um, BIT is located in the capital city of China and being in the capital city, a big city like Beijing, you will get a lot of resources, um, platforms and opportunities for everything like student activities and competitions um, so I think um, studying in a university, your life on campus is definitely very important, but your life outside the university um, in the city is also very important. Um, so when you are choosing a university, 
uh, you might want to choose um, one in a big city like Beijing. And let's take a look at our international students. Um, so we have currently more than 2,800 international students at studying at BIT right now. And they come from 149 um, different countries um, and across the, all the five continents. Um, most of our students come from Asia. And as you can see, um, our Indonesian students Currently, we have um, 262 Indonesian students studying at BIT, um, and think and I think most of them are in the undergraduate level. And we also have um, collaboration with a lot of universities or institutions all around the world. Um, so we have more than 380 partner universities, and also um, they are from like all the five continents. And let me say let me say something about our research, um, because our research um, we're pretty pretty proud of our research. So first of all, this on this page you can see um, robot called Hui Tong humanoid robots. Um, so these robots are very good at um, distinguishing high speed moving objects and make dynamic balance and. Um, so maybe you know that for Chinese people, we are really good at playing table tennis, but now even the robots can play table tennis. Um, so these um, robots, they can play table tennis with each other, and they can also play table tennis with a real human being. Um, and if you take a look at the picture in the bottom right corner, so these robots can communicate with people and when it's talking, it ha even has some facial expressions. And the simulation rehearsal technology is also um, widely used in some large scale events and activities in China. Um, so this technology can ensure the best effect to be presented to the audience um, after rehearsing for many times. Um, because in China, we have a lot of people. So when we are hold, hosting some very big events, a lot of the performers needs to be engaged in the performance. Um, and using this technology, we can put little sensors um, to each individual um, so we can control um, the sensor on the, on the computer. Um, so that greatly enhance the, the efficiency of the, the rehearsals. So this technology was used, um, for example, in the uh, opening ceremony of the Winter Olympic Games um, in 2022 in Beijing. And speaking of the Winter Olympics, we also have some um, research that was very beneficial to the athletes. For example, the indoor multi-DOF simulation ski training system um, can it um, realize like, like it made it possible for the skiing as athletes to um, practice indoor. So even if it's not even if um, when it is not snow season, um, the skiers can still um, practice um, inside inside a room um, with the technology. And the s -Kinen, um enables the athletes to accelerate and improve the efficiency of technical, tr technical training in corners. Um, so the athlete can get to a certain speed in a short amount of time, and then um, it can practice how to take turns. And we also have a sports data stored um, that conducts a real-time scientific analysis of the athletes and creates individualized training plan to improve the performance of the athlete. And also, you know, because um, I think in Indonesia, you only have two seasons and it does not get very cold. Um, so in Beijing, it's very different. So um, in the winter of Beijing, uh, sometimes the it's very like it's freezing outside and in a freezing um, weather if you take your phone outside you can find that your battery dies out really fast so it's a battery charge and discharge problem and BIT has solved that problem so you know there are a lot of electric vehicles in China right now um, and we 
have um, done this research of EV under extreme cold condition. Um, so these electric vehicles um, are not afraid of cold. Um, so the battery can operate normally, even if it, the temperature is under like minus 40 to minus 60 um, Celsius degrees. And there is also this there is also this zero carbon cabin. Um, so this cabin is located in the downtown area of Beijing and it can operate 24 hours a day without electricity. But inside the cabin, we have um, something like smart screen, refrigerator and air conditioning, something like that. Um, so they need energy, but the cabin is not connected to electricity and it generates no carbon emission. Um, and it, it can be used anywhere. So all of the energy used in this little cabin um, comes from solar energy and wind energy. And also in China, when there's um, some big festivals and events, we like to play some fireworks. Um, but fireworks, traditional fireworks can release some um, chemicals that's not very good for the environment. Um, and in the chemistry field, we have done this research to invent this environmentally friendly fireworks. Um, so um, it's very, um, it's used in some very major events in China and it's zero pollution. Um, so I think that's very good. And it, it can, um, you can make some different shapes with the fireworks. And um, also our aeronautical, um, our aeronautical um, field is also very um, superior. Um, for example, we successfully launched um, a satellite in China. Um, and also there's this microwave radar technology. Um, and also we have a um, telescope um, and we found some minor planets um, in the space with this telescope. And one of the minor, minor planets was named after Beijing Institute of Technology. So on this page, you can see our uh, majors. Um, so our majors, um, most of them are only available um, in Chinese taught programs. Um, so these are the Chinese taught programs and um, the ones that are marked blue are some uh, majors that are very popular um, for international students. And for Indonesian students, maybe the English taught programs are like more popular. Um, so here are the seven programs that are available in English taught programs. Um, so they are mechanical engineering, automation, computer science and technology, electronic science and technology, mechatronics engineering, aeronautical and astronautical engineering, and international economics and trade. Um, so these majors um, are taught in English. And if you choose one of these majors, um, you will take classes in English, you will do your homework in English, you, you will take the tests in English. So everything will be in English. Um, and uh, maybe some of you are um, interested in our pre-university programs. Um, so like last year, we have um, seven students from Indonesia. They are currently in our pre-university programs. Um, so the pre-university programs are, there are um, two different types. So one of them is program A. So program A only lasts for one semester um, and you need to have HSK4. So um, for both programs, you will need to have some background in Chinese because the program will be taught in Chinese. So um, for program A, you will take it um, for one semester starting from March. Um, and besides um, something like Chinese um, information and language, you will also take classes um, in math, physics, um, to get you prepared for the study in your undergraduate uh, program. Um, but if you choose program B, that one lasts for one year and um, it starts um, in September. And if you take program B for the first semester um, that starts in September, you will be learning Chinese a lot. And you will learn something about Chinese history um, and Chinese culture. Um, and for program B, you will need to have HSK3. 
Um, so I really recommend um, if you want to um, take a Chinese taught program, you have some background in Chinese, but you cannot reach HSK-5 at this point, um, you may consider to choose um, to take the pre-university program um, before applying to the undergraduate program. So something special about BIT, we have this one plus three model for undergraduate study uh, students. Um, so for the first academic year, you will take classes with um, the international students only. Um, and at the end of the first year, you can have the option to choose to change your major. Um, so you, starting from the second year, you will be taking classes with Chinese students together. So not only international students are in the same classroom, but also the Chinese students will be in the same classroom with you. Um, and um, also um, we provide student assistant positions um, for international students um, and also the academic counseling support. So um, whenever you feel like you need um, support, you need assistance in your study, um, you can just talk to your student advisor and we have the system um, that can efficiently um, support your study and give, provide help when you need. And we also have a lot of um, social practices and um, campus activities for you to attend. Um, like um, our students, they participated in the Challenge Cup um, and they won, um, I think they won 13, yeah, 13 gold awards um, in the past years. And um, we also have a formula team. Um, they won five national championships. And also our students participated in the Internet Plus competition and they won two um, final, uh, final champions and also 26 gold awards. Um, and the last picture, um, so it's in U, um, so it's a competition in UAE. Um, so our student team, um, so it's a um, program for drones. Our student team won two times for the final champions in the year 2017 and 2020. So if you play football, BIT can be a good choice for you because our student football club um, is very good. And um, we won 11, national championships um, in the past few years. Um, and even David Beckham, a very famous football player, he came to BIT once um, in the year 2018. And uh, you can also see the picture of our BIT football team of international students. So when you are here, you can join the football team and uh, sometimes the, the international students football team would play games with um, Chinese football team. And every year we have sports meeting um, for international students and also the International Cultural Festival um, where you can perform um, something special about your country. And you can also apply for a booth for Indonesia. So um, in the booth, you can um, display something special from, from your country. Um, and you can also walk around to um, take a look at the booth of some other countries um, and there will be performances on the stage. And there will be a very big New Year party every year at the end of each year. And our students also participate in a lot of social practices, um, both inside the university and outside the university. And they attend forums and events, um, for example, Knowing China, um, and China International Fair for Trade in Services. And some of our alumni are very, um, um, they, they do a very good job in um, both um, inside the university and also in some social practices. For example, this um, female student from Bangladesh, she was a volunteer in the, the Winter Olympics in Beijing. Yes. And she was broadcasted by CCTV. Uh, most prestigious um, media in China. And also another alumni was um, broadcasted by China Daily. So some of you are interested in um, finding jobs and interns in China. Um, so we, um, for, for in order to give um, the students more opportunities to look for a job, we have career fairs almost every month throughout the year. Um, so that we will invite some um, companies 
to come to our campus and give you um, a session um, for you to, to introduce their company. Um, and you can even bring your resume and just hand them your resume um, at the career fairs. And you can talk to people from the HR department and ask them questions. And we have cooperative enterprises, for example, ByteDance, um, the company for TikTok, um, and also Tencent. So this is um, the company for WeChat. So our graduates, um, after they graduated um, from BIT, some of them choose to go back to their country or, or go back to us uh, or go to another country to work. So these are some examples that you can take a look at. Um, and also there are some um, alumni after they graduate, they choose to stay in China and find a job. So these are some of our alumni um, that are working in China right now. Um, so in regard of our um, application requirements, um, so when you are applying for a science and engineering major, um, we will, um, when we are looking at your high school transcript, we will specifically looking at your math, advanced math and physics. And of course, if you are applying for a major, for example, chemistry, we will also take a look at your chemistry score. Um, and if you apply for a liberal arts major or business major, um, we will um, take a look at your math score and your language score and also some other humanity subjects. And if you are applying for a design major, when you are submitting your application online, you will also need to upload two, at least two of your artworks. And we do offer um, BIT scholarships for um, undergraduate students, and it's based on your um, application materials and also your comprehensive interview performance. Um, so the first prize covers four years tuition, uh, university accommodation, and also a stipend of 2,500 RMB per month. Um, and our second prize covers four years tuition and university accommodation. Um, and for our first prize and second prize scholarship, um, as long as you pass the annual review um, each year, um, it will guarantee the scholarship benefits of the following academic year. Um, and for our third prize, fourth prize, and fifth prize scholarship. Um, so they are um, only for one year. And if you want to get scholarship um, in the next year, you need to apply at the end of the first year. <clears throat> and um, the student advisor will assess your performance in your first year to decide um, your scholarship result in the following years. So the third prize covers one year tuition and university accommodation. The fourth prize covers one year tuition and the fifth prize covers 50% of the first year's tuition. Um, and if you are an undergraduate student at BIT, you will be here for four years um, and um, the application fee will be 600 RMB. And the tuition money for um, Chinese taught program and English taught program um, is different. So the tuition for Chinese taught programs is 23,000 RMB per year. And the tuition for English taught programs is um, 30,000 RMB per year. And for um, the accommodation, uh, it's different um, depending on where you're living and what kind of room you're living in. Um, so for undergraduate students, um, you will be in Liangxiang campus. So you can just take a look at the price of Liangxiang campus. Um, and for our pre-university program, uh, most of them will be in Zhongguansun campus. So if you are interested in the pre-university program, when you're looking at the accommodation fee, you can take a look at the Zhongguansun campus. And here you can take a look at some pictures of our dormitories. So we have triple, like twin rooms, triple rooms and quad rooms. And when you're living on campus, we have um, plenty of facilities for you. So we have libraries on campus, we have um, many dining halls and we have gymnasiums and grocery stores, banks and um, clinic, university clinic. And around the campus, it's also um, very convenient. 
So we have, for example, for Zhongguan Sun campus, we have five hospitals, um, five hospitals around the campus, four subway stations, seven bus stations, six shopping malls, nine supermarkets, eleven restaurants, four cinemas, six coffee shops, and eight bakery stores um, in walking distance. <clears throat> so when you are studying at Beijing Institute of Technology, um, the life can be very convenient if you live on campus or around the campus. Um, okay, so um, and you can follow us on the um, um, on WeChat. Um, so this is our official um, WeChat account. We will publish um, some of our news and student activities on this account. Um, yeah, so if you have any questions about the application procedure, you can always consult Milgek. So they will provide help and assistance. We already have a lot of students um, at studying at BIT. Um, they are recommended by Milgek. Um, so yes, so you can um, definitely reach out to them and ask for help. And we look forward to seeing you um, at BIT. I think that's the end of the um, admission session. If you have any questions, we can definitely um, answer some questions. Okay, thank you, Ms. Claire, for the presentation. Uh, so now we move to another session. It, that is Q&A session. There is some students already, or oh, there is George, raise the hands. Maybe George, if you have any questions, you can open the microphone. Yes, thank you for the opportunity. Uh, so. I want to ask about, is it necessary for us to have a Chinese name or will we get it one after we come to the BIT University? Okay, yes. So um, if you already have a Chinese name, which is perfect, um, but if you do not have a Chinese name, you can still submit your application. So when you're applying, um, you do not need a Chinese name. You can just check the box that saying that you do not have a Chinese name. Um, but before you come to BIT, um, you need to think of a Chinese name for yourself. If you do not have a Chinese name by the time you come to BIT, um, the, the student advisor will give you a Chinese name all right okay thank you george uh and then there is one question from indra uh how much is the minimum for ielts or sat score to apply to bit okay um so for um for toffel score um the minimum is 85 and for else it's six and you can, I think a lot of Indonesian students choose to take Duolingo um, and for Duolingo is 100. Oh, and then what is the rank for computer science in China and world? Um, for computer science major, I think it's around um, the 10th place in China. Um, and for the world ranking, I need to double check. I think, um, yeah, I need to double check about the world ranking for the specific program. Okay, um, and then um, is the big data major taught in English or only Chinese? Uh, unfortunately, the big data major is only in Chinese taught program. Okay. And how about the artificial intelligence? Is it in Chinese or in English? Um, artificial intelligence is also in Chinese. We only have seven majors available in English taught programs. Okay. And then for artificial intelligence, what is the minimum score for math and physics? And then, yeah, maybe you can ask for that first. Okay. Yeah, sure. So for artificial intelligence, first of all, um, you need HSK5 because it's in Chinese taught program. Um, so as long as you pass the language proficiency, um, we will take a look at your transcript. Um, but um, there is no specific minimum score for math or physics. Um, but, but we will take a look at your math and physics score. Um, and also we will compare um, the other application materials um, and also the comprehensive of interview is very important. Um, but if if we think your uh, math or physics is not proficient enough um, to take the major, we will definitely contact you first through via email um, to see if you are willing to change to another program. Um, so we will definitely keep in touch um, if we think the score is not um, enough. Okay, thank you. And then can you tell me the foundation fee for students that pass HSK4? Morning in progress. Morning in progress. 
uh, the foundation uh, fee. Uh, so, uh, the uh, pre-university pre program. Oh, okay. So for pre-university program, um, the tuition fee will be um, 30,000 RMB every year. How about business management? Is it in English or Chinese? And how the minimum score IELTS for this major in undergraduate programs? Uh, okay, yeah. So for all of the English programs, the language proficiency requirement is the same. So for IELTS is six, um, for um, TOEFL is 85 and Duolingo is 100. Um, and for the speaking of the major, um, so business administration is only available in Chinese taught program. Um, the only um, program in the business and economics field um, available in English teaching um, program is international economics and trade. Okay, thank you. Is there any more questions you want to ask, guys? Um, you can ask in Indonesia if you want. I can try to translate on it. What is the quota number for Indonesian applicants this year? Um, so like Indonesian, the number of Indonesian students at BIT. Um, so in the year 2023, we had um, 67 new students from BIT in the undergraduate program. And currently, I think there are 262 Indonesian students studying on campus at BIT. Um, and um, the number has been increasing in the past three years, constantly increasing. Okay. Uh, computer science is, is taught in Chinese or in English? Both. So computer science and technology, you can choose the teaching language. Okay. Uh, and George, you want to ask something? You can open the microphone. Yes, thank you for uh, my second question. Can we go outside from BIT? And if we can, is there a time limit for us? Um, for the student dormitory, I think you need you can go outside um, and you need to come back um, around uh, one o'clock, I think. Okay, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Okay, if a student only gets a scholarship in the first year, what are the requirements for reapplying for the scholarship in the following year? Um, yeah, so at the end of the first year, um, you can let your student advisor know as soon as possible that you're interested in applying for scholarship in the next year. And the student advisor um, will, looking, will be looking at your um, transcript from the first year of the university um, and see how you're doing academically um, at the university. Um, and also the general performance is also important. So um, when you are maintaining a good grade in the university, um, if you take a lot of um, if you are take a lot of student leadership or you participate in um, some student activities, I think that will be very um, helpful when you're applying for the scholarship as well. Okay, thank you. And then uh, B does BIT provide Chinese lesson for international students that just enter BIT, uh, especially for the English taught uh, students? Yeah, you will take some Chinese class at BIT. But if you're in the English taught program, um, there are not, will not be a lot. And most of them, I think, will be in the first year. Is there a biotechnology major in BIT? Uh, yes, but only in Chinese taught program. OK. Um, where to get more information about applying the master program in business field? Uh, OK. Yeah, so. Um, yeah, I think you can also um, uh, reach out to Mailgeck because um, we have another team for um, graduate admissions. Um, you can also visit our website. Our admission books are published on our official website. Is there an exam or interview for uh, applying at BIT? Yeah, there will be a comprehensive interview and the interview will be conducted online. Usually you need to add us on WeChat and then we will give you a video call on WeChat. Um, so the interview will be after we review your materials. 
Oh, and the, for the exam, um, so normally each year we have a placement test, which will also be online, but this year um, it might be a little bit different. So we are also waiting for the specific information for the exam this year. Um, when we have the latest information, we will make sure to send out emails to let everybody know as soon as possible. Okay, is aerospace engineering taught in English? Yes, you can choose the teaching language for aeronautics and astronautics engineering. Um, when is the deadline to apply at BIT? Um, so for 2024 fall intake, the application deadline will be June 15th of 2024. How about the scholarship quota? Is it first register, first surf, or how? Um, it's merit based. So we we do not have a limited number that we give out, but we um assess the students' um performance and um the students' application materials to decide whether we are going to offer the scholarship. Is part-time job still banned in China for foreign students? Um, well, I, I don't think part-time job is banned in China. It's just it's more um, it's just more complicated. Uh, that I think if you work um outside campus, you need to get a special um remark on your visa, um, so that you can um do some internships or something like that off off campus. Um, but on campus, you can, as I said before, um, we have like the student assistantship positions. So if you want to work on campus, um, it's totally fine. Okay, thank you. Is there any questions you want to ask guys before we end today's sessions? If you want to ask, okay, George, you can open the microphone. Yes, sorry for asking so many questions. My last question, uh, if we get the, the third prize, I think the third prize that uh, free dormitory, I saw that there is types of rooms, uh, what, what rooms will we get and based on our preference or is or not? Okay, so if you get the scholarship with on-campus accommodation, um, usually it's for the four people room, um, but you, you can definitely pay for the extra fee to apply to live in a two people room or a triple room. Okay, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Uh, what subjects that will be test the exam in the placement test or in the examination? Okay, yeah. So um, in the past years, if you are um applying to a science and technology major, um, you will be taking um math, physics, and language. And the language test depends on whether you choose a Chinese taught program or English taught program. So if you choose the Chinese taught program, you will take Chinese. If you choose the English taught program, you will be tested in English. Um, and um, for um, the other like social science majors, art design majors and um, economics majors, um, you will be only taking language and math. Um, but still this year, everything is still not decided. So we are still waiting. Um, but in the past year, this is the situation. Okay, um, the scholarship for English thought program need to be reapplied each year. Um, if you get the third prize, fourth prize, and fifth prize, you need to reapply. If you get first prize or second prize, you only need to um pass an annual review that will guarantee the scholarship in the next year. If already has HSK six, does she still? Does he still need to take the language test? Um, yes, yes.
Is there any internship in BIT of in the last year or last semester, in the final year? Um, for on-campus um, jobs, these are um, not technically not interns, um, but they are student uh, student assistantship positions. Um, so, um, for example, we have a lot of Indonesian students helping out at the Office for International Students. Um, so they can like do some jobs for um, for the office, and then um, it's kind of like a part time job, but it's on campus. Okay, thank you, Miss Claire. Yeah, um, thank you. Any more question? If there is no questions, maybe we can end today's session. Or if you have any questions later, you can ask us, and then we will try to um answer it for you. Okay. I think there is no more questions for today's meeting. Um, actually, I want oh. to ask some questions. Is that all right? Yeah, it's okay. Uh, uh, Miss Claire, actually, I'm applying for the scholarship for English thought program in BIT, and that I was informed that uh, I need to have an interview, and then after that, I will know whether I will get that, what type of scholarship will I get, and is there any other test? after that or just the interview to the job for the scholarship um, application to, yeah to determine your scholarship um, result only the interview um, will be um, in the process because after the interview if you pass the interview we will send you the pre-admission letter and on the pre-admission letter you can find our your um, scholarship result okay thank you yeah, you're welcome. Okay, if there is no more questions, maybe we can end today's meeting. Um, first of all, thank you, Miss Claire, for the presentation. Um Miss Claire have not only enlightened us, but also have inspired us to continue to pursue our knowledge and our uh, education in BIT. And thank you all for your active participation, insightful questions, and your enthusiasm. We look forward to welcoming you for the other webinar. We still have like uh, some webinar. Um, with that, I officially bring this webinar to a close. Safe travels to those who join us, and may you call, may you have a good day. Thank you. Thank you, Clara. Goodbye. Yeah, thank you, Miss Goodbye.